Hey guys, what's up? So I've just got this cooling fan, which is originally a tablet one, but I will be testing it in this video with the Aero GLI to see if it's going to increase the performance and reduce the thermals. So if I just put it here on the front, you will see it says here all in Chinese. However, I did a translation of it. It's a lightweight as they claim, and it's a strong fan and it's not loud. It's magnetic and it has an RGP on the front. So if I just switch it to the back, you will see it's 100 millimeter fan. So we'll be testing the performance of this guy and let's check it out. So now I'll do the unboxing. It comes with this fishy duct tape. So as you can see, let me try to get it out. As you see, it's 100 millimeter fan. This plate will get very cold. And here you see there are two speeds. So you see it's turned off, on, and here's the power connector, which is a type C. So it comes in with this type C cable. The downside of this is that you will need to connect this one to the cooler, and you will be left off with this USB 3 that you can't connect to the Aero GLI since it's not type C. But you can get a converter or a cable if you have a type C from both sides, you can also connect it. Or if you have a power bank or a dock station for the Aero GLI, you can easily fix this issue. It comes with a manual. So as you see here, I try to get it to the camera. They say you can stick it to a metallic surface. And if it's not a metallic, like here it shows an iPad. If it's not metallic, it comes with this uh, plate that is 3M. You can put it on the back of the Aero GLI. And here, this part, it will be magnetic. As you see here, it's very strong magnetic, so it won't fall down. So that's it for the unboxing. Now let's uh, connect it to the Aero GLI. So let me show you what I'm talking about that you can't stick it right now since it's a plastic so it will fall down i'm going to be mounting it on the middle of the ROG so in this way it will be like this or also you can always take it off on depending you, you will just have this one always as soon as you put it here for example like this it's not bad looking also to make sure that you have your ROG ally turned off let's put it on So I'll try to put it in a nice way in the middle. Okay, there you go. So here I have it on the middle, right where there's a APU chip. So let, let's try to push it just a bit and let it stick for a bit because I want to show you something as well. So I'll show you if I connect it here to a power source. Okay, so now it's turned off. Let's turn it on. Now the, it shows the temperature as well. It's 15, it's going down. There's even some, some water as you see here. So it's not a cooling fan, but also it's a, it's a cold plate. So now the temperature is nine. So it's nice looking fan also for statics. You see it's, uh, it has some RGP. So it goes well with the ROG. And now it's eight. And if I try to get it close to the microphone, you will hear the noise. So it doesn't have a, a loud noise. This fan is pretty silent as they claim. Now after five minutes, you can see it's very cold. There's even some traces of water. So it's pretty wet as well. The temperature is eight and we're placing it on the erosion now. Let's try to put it on the moment of truth. Okay, you can always take it off on as you see here. You'll have to force it to be removed. So, so far I like it. Let's hope the performance is as well as good. 
So I want to see a lower temperature and uh, a better performance, like no thermal throttling and stuff like that. So let's hope it goes well at least. So here I've got 3 d mark, and I'll be doing time spy stress test. We'll be checking the thermals before and after the cooler. Let's check it out. So now that it has finished, let's check the temps. So on screen it's 42, or oh, and on the sides you, it's 26, 31 also. Let's check the back. So on the back, the temps are 34 on on the back where there's a chip, and it's 35 here, 36 also. Yeah, also 36. Let me try to get it to camera 37 as well. Here where there's a exhaust fan and the other one also 30, 32. And here on the uh, max temp reached, which is 81 degrees on the eye sensor and the CPU core 80, the socket 69 and the APU GFX 70. Also the SSD got 57 and the GPU max temp is 70. So now let's check it again with the cooler. Just so you get an idea of the cooler, you can see that now that it has been turned on, there's already some water. So let's try to put it and hopefully it won't get uh, damaged. So now that it has finished, let's check the temps. We see on screen it's this time 36. So that's definitely a, a difference. On the sides here, it's about 24, 23 as well. So there is a difference in temps in the exterior part in the front. Let's flip it and check here on the left side, it's 24 and in the middle, it's also 23, 24. Here where it's the exhaust fan, usually it's the hottest part. It's 26. So I would say it's also colder on the backside. Way colder actually. Let's now check in hardware info. The hottest recorded temp is 77 and the CPU core 76. The socket 64 and the APU GFX is 65. The SSD is 51 and also in the GPU temp is 65. I think it was 70 on the stock uh, results that we got. In my personal opinion, having this kind of cooler fan will benefit you mostly if you are holding the rogue alive for long periods like 30 minutes or more and start to feel some sort of warm air coming to your hands as you are holding it. So it's going to be beneficial mostly in the exterior part, but internally it's going to give you minimal difference. Now that I'm holding it, I can definitely tell there's a difference between holding it with cooler or not. So I think it's going to be helpful if you are having this kind of issue and want to get over with it. So that's my experience with this cooler fan. Please subscribe to my channel as I'm going to try different accessories and trying different stuff with the Rogue Ally in order to give you the best experience on it. See you in the next one.